no matter how much we like to talk about all those cloud native technologies or Kubernetes and everything else, the fact is the modern economy, the critical pieces is still, you know, have to go through mainframe the transactions, you know, um, mainframe is still kind of uh, heart and soul of modern economy. Is that correct? It is the heart and soul of the modern economy. Yeah. So the, the analogy I like to tell my children when they say, Daddy, what do you do for a job? Is I say to them, when you go and you buy something contactless with your payment card or they all use uh, phones, you know, Apple Pay, Google Pay now, by the time that you hold it there and the answer comes back to the store, that's probably traveled through on average seven different mainframes, probably in about four different continents across the world. And somebody once told me how many miles of fiber optic cable, but quite a lot. So it's the backbone. You couldn't book an airline ticket. You couldn't buy your cup of coffee or buy your car without a mainframe computers being involved. But to answer your question about Kubernetes, the mainframe runs a lot of very modern architectures. It runs Linux. Um, it, 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 it has a very open computing architecture. It has many distributions of Linux. So it doesn't just run the software written in the 1970s. It runs software written today as well. And it supports all of the old with all of the new. Excellent. The reason I wanted to ask that question was uh, to, first of all, talk about the importance or significance of mainframe in the modern economy, uh, economy, which also means that you also need to attract the latest you know, talent pool to sustain this model, which is backing because otherwise without them, I mean, I talk to a lot of mainframe folks, you know, they are senior experienced folks, but we do need to attract next generation, which sometimes runs after the, uh, the latest shiny object, whichever it is in the tech field. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely bang on with that. There is a problem, a, a kind of a skill shortage. And, and I say, and it, I can see it. I talk to companies with 60, 70 year olds. I talk to companies with 20, 30 year olds. There's this kind of generational gap. It's like, where are the 40 year olds? You know, there's not that many on the mainframe because many of those were perhaps attracted to other platforms at the time. And if you're a huge bank and you have a bunch of 60, 70 year olds approaching retirement with 40 years of knowledge, that's a problem for you because they, if they retire, they have to pass the torch to the younger generation. And Zoe fits into that sweet spot. Yeah. 